It's me, a private eye. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. You don't need to get me a private eye. You just need Truebill. On average, people save up to $720 a year through Truebill because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. Or maybe you like me and you have an Equinox membership that you never use. And so in order to cancel it, you have to go through like 30 hoops. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. It's actually really sickening if you want to cancel something that the app literally like drafts and drafts an email in the wording you need to cancel and sends it for you. It's really gaggy. It's extremely gaggy. I had a gym membership from a Planet Fitness in New York that I didn't know I was being billed for for a embarrassing amount of time. And it really helped me get it together. Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over $100 million. Like Matthew B, who says, In a matter of seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my DirecTV bill, saved $120 for the year on my Sirius bill, and saved $840 a year on my car insurance. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash bald. Go right now. Truebill.com slash bald. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. Mama, let me tell you, I'm stressed. I live stressed. I'm about it. I'm about stress. I live in stress. I'm not I'm not promoting stress, but I am an accidental proprietor of stress, okay? Let's not forget about doom scrolling at night, sleeping too little, sleeping too much, under-eating, overeating. I mean, girl, I, I'll tell you this. When I'm stressed, I'm either losing weight or gaining weight. It's never, my weight is never the same. Stress shows up in all kinds of ways. In, in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, here's your reminder to take care of yourself. Do less and just try some therapy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to, right? You could literally be in bed with your face. I don't know. You could, you could have a bad makeup day where the liner doesn't match and still talk to your therapist. I know for me being able to just talk about things, I would always rather pick up the phone or get on a video chat and just get through it and then move on without it. That's I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so much more affordable than in-person therapy. Give it a try and see if online therapy can lower your stress. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Trixie and Katya, Bald and the Beautiful listeners, get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash bald, baby. What's up, you junkie whores? Okay. Okay. Okay, wow. The motherfucking moon tower, bitch. Girl, the moon tower. The moon tower. Can we have a brief round of applause for our outfits? Can you believe us? We wore this. <laughs> and you wore, wore that. that. <laughs> have a great night. Bye. <laughs> Austin, what is the tea, Christine? How many of you were at the show last night? <gasps> a double header. Yeah. Oh that was God. fun. We're having a blast. I mean, this is going to be a little challenging talking to each other as if we haven't seen each other for the past fucking 30 days straight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Honestly, I spend more time hoping something interesting happens to you than something <laughs> interesting happens to me. Yeah. I'm like, I would love for her to get some kind of foot infection or like something. I would love that. Or I'd get fucked. Although I did have sex in Pittsburgh. I just want to keep you all updated. I did have sex in Pittsburgh and it was lovely, gal. Um, but just one time, I mean, I listen, I know I'm an unfuckable monster and I'm a goblin out of drag, but Jesus Christ, look at these inches. Yeah. 
whoever has had that grotto must be really gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought for this city and Austin, I thought this would be the stop on the tour where I don't have sex. Just switching it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this mm-hmm. fucking nymphomaniac over here. <gasps> Nympho. Who am I to deny the people? Look at me. Yeah, look at the material. <laughs> look at, you know. She it, got COVID. She's in her immunity era. Oh, and she mama. Will not the best thing to happen to my sex. sex life was the badge and the gun they give you when you get COVID <laughs> immunity, bitch. She oh, is bitch. fucking and sucking on the road like a, usually like, who done it? Yeah, I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Mr. Meanwhile, Burns over here can't get fucking fingered for Mr. my life. Mr. Full Body Burns. <laughs> This is a live taping of the bald and the beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this over here so that yeah. they can see all of this stuff. It's kind of inappropriate for them to just wheel out stripper poles like this. Yeah. Oh my God, I, have you ever seen those videos of those women stripping at home and the pole moves and they fall to the ground? I sure have. Love I that, sure have. love that, love yeah. that energy. Yeah, well, um, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, you know, I have to share a little anecdote that happened earlier today. It was um, an interesting thing happened in the shower. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I was in the hotel and I was, um, I bought this lovely giant Bluetooth speaker that plays music really, really loud. And I, and I put my little, um, my little uh, Russian pop on and then I'm, I'm in the shower and I'm shaving and I'm like doing this. I'm like, I'm like doing this <laughs> naked and, and, and shaving. And then I start crying. <laughs> because Why? Because it was so beautiful. No, no because, because I... <laughs> I think mean, I, I mean, <laughs> because I got so grateful. <laughs> I got filled with gratitude. I started. To, I was like, "Oh my God, we're on we're on tour, and, and and everybody's so nice." And then the merch the merch guy the merch guy told me the other night. He was like, "Listen, I've worked so many tours, and your fans." are the nicest, most polite people ever. Every single customer from the start to the bitter end, smiling, happy, polite. I'm gonna stop and you right there. I just started crying. <laughs> because, listen, I do meet and greets for a living. I've met these people. Let me tell you some of the things that they've said to us on this tour. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my Somebody God, oh my God. Somebody oh said to this person, they said, you guys remind me of me and my best friend, Trixie, I'm you, and my best friend is a 69-year-old witch. <laughs> And I went, oh, really? Which one of us is the witch? And the girl goes, I mean. <laughs> and then she pointed. And then yeah, two days ago, this girl sat down. I said, hi. You know, and she sat down and she goes, yes. yes. Long pause. And then she goes, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, we get a lot. Of, well, I get a lot of backhanded compliments. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, oh. My favorite one. My favorite one. We were in Milwaukee uh, sure, last yes, year. We were. we were at my bar. This is it for Pride. And somebody, thank you. And somebody came up and she said, Trixie, I love your style. And she turned to Katya and said, and I love your attitude. <laughs> it was the funniest like, fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Standing there like, Thank you. Thank you so much. And I never know what to, when people say we look better up close, I always because I think we look like crap up close, I always think, well, what the fuck do we look like on screen? I know. I know. It's a lot it's a lot of um it's we do I think people get well, also, I look like a deck chair with lashes on. <laughs> okay. So up close so up close, I'm like, you think this is what kind of monsters do you surround yourself with in your real I life? Know, I know, I know. And also, um we, people are We've noticed that they are terrified. Terrified of During us. the meeting, they're terrified of us. Terrified. Oh my God, this fag, well, I can say fag, I have a gay friend. He came up. <laughs> he came up to the meet and greet and he goes, you know, our meet and greet to, to meet us both. I'm just gonna say how much it costs. It costs $300, whatever, yeah, okay? Whatever, right. Shoot me in the eye, bitch. So <laughs> he comes up and he's like a fag, whatever. So you're us, yeah. I'm him. And then he comes up and he goes, so $300. Would he just split that or? (laughs) So fierce. And I said, we do. We we do. 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 We're not selling fucking penicillin. (laughs) Jesus Christ. You know, but God. I feel bad because it is a premium price, and then well, they no get up there. Way. You don't have to buy no, no, no. it. That's not why I feel bad. Oh, why? You know, I'll sell water to a whale, bitch. Hello. 
I feel bad because they get up there and the look in their faces. Horror, House of Horrors, Haunted Horror. Mansion, uh, uh, Marie Laveau presents. It's, uh, yeah, it's like, literally, I mean, and I feel bad because like literally they'll be like, yes, yes, the, <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> Literally that, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, and yeah. I, which I thrive on that energy. Um, because whenever I see somebody like sweatier than me, I just instantly relax. So, oh. like, if I ever see anybody who's nervous, I'm just like, oh God, this is great. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I was nervous about sweating on this tour. And then I realized I'm on stage next to this person. Mom. I look bone dry every fucking night, girl. I want to talk to you about hyperhidrosis. I don't ask for a lot in my life. I don't ask for a lot. I really don't. I'm a woman with sim simple pleasures. Cornichons. Cornichons. I love little sour dill pickles in a jar. I love paper towels. And I love air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things I want. I know you bitches in Texas love air conditioning. Yes. It is a human right here in the heart of Texas, is it not? Yeah. Yes. It is not. It is a right, not a privilege. Yeah. Um, but some of these fucking boondock boot scooting theaters, I gotta tell you, they girl, are trying to smoke me out. Girl, girl. They are trying to girl, smoke try out the dog. Girl, it's like they cut you open, they saw the inside was pink, and they're like, it's not done. Put no. it back in the oven. <laughs> it's horrible. They want that shit brown and crispy. Yes, although Texas, the air conditioning everywhere is lit. You go to a gay bar here, you're cold. I think they have central air at the Alamo, bitch. They have it everywhere here. <laughs> Everywhere, but it's the middle countries where it's deciduous. Sometimes it's winter, sometimes it's, that's when it's dark-sided. Mama, I, with the first night, or the I think it was, um, so we've been on tour since what? The, the March 1989. 14th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 March 14th, this is, we've done 20-something shows. And our second night in, um, in San Francisco when we did like, or the first night we did like a dress rehearsal, the show was almost three hours mm -hmm. um, before we cut anything from the show. And I remember at one point, maybe like 25 minutes into the show, you like grab me and you're like, oh my God, you oh, are yeah, wet. Yeah. I just the part where I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to talk to her. We're acting, right? And it's stupid because everybody there knows we do this for a living. So we're pretending to do acting in front of people who know that we can't act. It's very full. The real acting is done by the audience who's like, oh, this is theater. Okay. <laughs> And so I'm holding her, and it's just, it's just, you know, it's brittle, and it's just, you know, it feels, it feels like a bath mat. It's like mat a wet, dying bird. No, it's like a bath mat stuffed with mag lights. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just wet, hard, batteries. So, and I just look at her right in her fucking face, and I go, you are wet. Girl, and there's nothing, does anybody here sweat a lot? You guys sweat Does anybody sweat a lot? And you know, the, maybe you know, like, it's, it works the same with, like, nerves and stuff. Like, oh, 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 O'Reilly's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like when you're in middle school and you get embarrassed and you turn red and somebody's like, oh, my God, you're turning you're red. You're turning, oh, yeah. And then you just turn purple. Yeah. And that's like with, with sweating, it's like when you're sweating and you're aware of it and then you start to sweat more. And then if somebody says, oh my God, you're sweating so much, then you just might as well pass out and die. Give it up. Give up the ghost. Oh. Give up the so. ghost. It's tough. Oh. <laughs> and so we actually today, we're trying to multitask on tour because we're so busy and we have a bunch of ads we have to record. So I figured we'd just take this time to record ads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, great idea. I think it's a shock to all of us that our friends at Chime have not gotten mad at me for pretending to be a child for months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Drag is fun. Drag is fun. So, wait, how many people did, did see the show um, last night? Uh, right, right. Oh, four. Yeah. We live on a tour bus. That's fun. By the way, anybody who uh, grew up trailer trash like me? Anybody? No? Yeah. Let me tell you this, don't get too successful. They put you right back in the fucking trailer, bitch. Yeah. First day of tour, they're walking me through. I'm like, I know how this goes. <laughs> Let me know when my mom gets here. <laughs> uh, we, and uh, we also travel. Well, uh, my bus is full of the dancers, so there are four elite physical specimens flashing their 12 packs in my face all day. I've never felt more like a fucking just pokey. Like there, I'm a Pokemon. I don't know what I am. I'm not a You're on the, being. she's on the gay bus. There's a lot of malicious gay faggotry happening on, on her bus. bus. 
I'm on the straight bus, all the tech people, all it's just yeah. it's just me, Cinderella in the back, gooning and baiting, you know, and just, <laughs> and it's like it is a fuck and I close the door. I mean, this is it's pretty I wouldn't say it's chic, but it's kind of luxe in a way. Yeah. Um, you I, I close the sliding door and then it's about um 30 degrees in there with a, 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 a AC blowing my eyes into like oh, oh, frozen. <laughs> frozen. Yeah. And but then, that's what I want. Uh, my yeah. dream is to be um, like uh, Mr. Freeze's wife when yeah. he's like, she's like frozen. Just, yeah. That's my dream. Yeah. Or be Mr. Freeze, bitch. Yeah, I'm like a frozen bag of broccoli back there. And it's, and it's fierce though. And um, everyone's in now, my assist, my lovely assistant, Eden, God love her, saint, saint. And she'll open, she'll, open the crypt door at around 10 a.m., flash the lights on, and go, and then I just pull the blanket over my head and then sleep for another two hours. Oh, no. Yeah. They know not to walk in on me because they know I could be doing anything. <laughs> do you, do you, do you jerk off in there? Uh, the, I, I'll jerk off. I'm jerking off now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm just a human being. Yeah. I look in the mirror. I see myself. I go, hmm. Can I say something? <laughs> Something's going on over there. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I love that this podcast used to be about beauty, and now we explicitly talk about air conditioning. Air conditioning, yeah. It's about HVAC and masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, imagine this. Scented candles, soothing spa music, a warm but not that hot cup of green tea, a fresh pair of comfy undies. They're all important aspects of practicing self-care. Oh, maybe your mind doesn't automatically leap to thinking of underwear as self-care, but it should. After all, undies are the first thing you reach for in the morning, and they literally set the tone for the rest of the day. Or if you're like me, it sets the tone for when someone else pulls them off. Oh! Lean into loving yourself with free to join me undies membership and receive a fresh pair of me undies delivered right now to your door each month, hassle free. I'm on tour right now and I have four pairs of me undies in my bag and I love them. It almost is like each time I wash them, they come out softer. I also love them because I love the little designs. I'm not a fun person. Like I don't have fun buying underwear. So having fun underwear put in my hands and put on my body, I do love it. And also this is kind of, okay, I'm on tour. I need to know what underwear are clean and dirty. And if I have 10 pairs of underwear that are identical, I don't know. With me undies, I have all different designs and vibes. So I'm like, okay, I wore these yesterday and I wore these the day before. So I know these are clean. Honestly, it can be really challenging to take care of yourself in a way that you deserve. We get so focused on work, etc. Things like makeup, perfume, and especially underwear. Underwear are so personal and easy and essential. And it kind of feels good to gift yourself something that's, you know, just for you. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off. For a limited time, if you sign up for the free-to-join MeUndies membership, you get 25% off your first membership item, baby. To get 25% off your first membership item or 15% off your first order and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash bald. That's MeUndies.com slash bald, baby. Green Chef, baby. Ooh, ooh. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Honey, Green Chef makes it so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, or vegetarian like me, and you're just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. So it's no secret that I'm obsessed with Green Chef. It has changed my life. I eat Green Chef meals constantly. I live, eat, and breathe Green Chef, okay? I love it. What I love about Green Chef is it's sustainable. Enjoy your greens while being green. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of the plastic in every box and 100% of the carbon emissions with their carbon footprint. It's so cool. With Green Chef, you can get organic ingredients and sustainably sourced produce. You can feel great about what you're making. Girl, the convenience. Mama, it's easy. The food gets delivered right to my door. It comes in a perfectly refrigerated bag. It opens up, I put it in the fridge, and then through the week, I can just bust it out and I can have a meal on my table in like 30 minutes. The most I've ever spent making a meal, I think mole roasted carrots took me 35, truly. But like, I, you guys, I've never cooked before. I never cooked before. I've probably cooked at least 30 Green Chef meals in my life now, and I really have turned into a person who can cook. So if you're somebody who wants to just learn a little bit of cooking, you will be so proud. When I sit down, I can't believe for dinner that I made what I'm eating. It's like 
restaurant food. It's, I mean, I know that's like kind of trashy to say, but like, it's like food from a real chef or something, but I made it. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with dinners that work for you, not the other way around. Go to greenchef.com slash bald130 and use the code bald130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald130 and use the code bald130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. You will not be sorry. I'm obsessed with it and I'll never go without it. I love Green Chef. Thank you, Green Chef. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. But when we were renovating the motel, do you know, I felt like I had a gun to my head because I was like, if the air conditioning in here is not the one, mm. I am a liar. Yeah. And I'm not a provider for my children. I know. I'm just trying to get home to my children. <laughs> <laughs> You know what else is funny? When you're on tour, you're away from all your drag, and it actually gets very simple when there's no options of what to wear. This is your outfit. Hope you like it. You're going to see it till December. Yeah. Put on the brown suit and go out there and wiggle, gal. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a strategy. There's a meet and greet strategy. That's when you bust out the t-shirt dress, the caftan, Uh something where you could have a full erection and no one knows. Um, Case in point, I'm wearing a fucking apron. And she has a full erection right now. Yeah. My two-inch boner is is concealed right with this fold right here. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. I did make out with someone like, listen, I'm, a, I'm, did you make out with I'm going to be 40. Night? What? Did you kiss the guy last night? I did. I made out with him in public. I saw that. Yes. We, at Oil Can Harry's. Yeah. By the listen. way, before anyone asks, I went to the cooler at Oil Can Harry's yeah, and I took sure a did. picture. She sure did. <laughs> I just have to sing her a little sad song for you right now, just really quickly. I'm rapidly approaching 40. I know I did a fake out last year where I had a 40th birthday party, but I'm actually 39. I just wanted to get the the emotional turmoil over with. Mm -hmm. Um, But I am turning 40. I was born in 1982. And um, while I I recognize the fact that I look stunning right now, um, when it's, you know, when when the wig is off and the pantyhose are tucked away, it's a little bit of a different story. However... It's also stunning. It's just a different kind of stunning. (laughs) You know, like when you stumble upon a dead neighbor or like, you know... Like the Babadook. Yeah, when you go to yeah. get your... The Babadook is stunning. <laughs> yeah. It's stunning. You, you know. go to feed your sugar glider and he's, you know, <laughs> not with us anymore. That kind of thing. The goldfish is floating yeah, at the top it's of the water. like that. Yeah. However, so... And I, I've, I'm coming to terms... I'm finally coming to terms with the fact that it is possible that my technique in terms of pulling guys is maybe not the best, where I look dead into their face without blinking and I say... I find you extremely attractive, and I would love to have sex with you if you're interested. I'm not going to put you on the spot right now, but please, I'll give you 15 minutes. Come see me. I'll be right over there. And but that's they not. They think I'm joking. No, don't I'm thumbs up joking. her. Don't thumbs up her. No, it's she not hasn't fucked working. in weeks. Do you think it's working? It's not working. It's, it's not, not working. working. Well, you know how I knew that I came out of COVID more famous because I haven't been on tour, and I booted up Grinder, and I get banned about every two days because people think I'm a catfish. Can I just ask Mama, this? who is catfishing as fu- this monster? Who the fuck would pretend to be a 32-year-old bald cross-dresser? Yeah. For what? Ryan to Reynolds. what end? But Ryan this is also- Reynolds. Tom Hardy. Go big. These are great catfish no. options. If you're yeah. catfishing, you don't pick a famous person at all. You oh, pick some ra- someone photos. from the Coles catalog. Yes, thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Anyway... Oh, well, so anyways, my sad story. Um, I, um, I really, the clock is ticking. And I, um, and I'm, you know, I don't think that I'm, I'm long for this earth, if you know You're what I mean. You're in the winter of your life. I'm in the winter of my life. <laughs> my mother always said I had a chameleon soul. <laughs> um, I, I really, I, I need to have sex. I, I don't need to have sex. I mean, I want to have sex. I, I need to have sex. I need but to, there's a I lot need of touch t- of a man, but I, I don't really need to have sex. I just need to do this. This is what I really want. You know, a little kissy, kissy, little touchy, touchy. I'm not into fisting. I don't, I don't want to fist somebody. I don't want my whole shoulder up somebody's fucking digestive system. If, it's fine if you do. It's fine if you do. Go for it, girl. No, bitches. These faggots are out here doing Jim Henson. Just hello, Mary. Just straight up there. Yeah. By the way, you but, moved to LA and all of a sudden you're at brunch and you realize that everybody's the fucking everybody's GI doctor. Everybody, girl. Everybody's the GI doctor. It's like kissing. What? 
kissing. No, no. They're they're fucking butt chugging a whole keg of fucking white wine spritzer up their ass and then splashed it in the face. It's just it's yeah. a lot. Can we I'm pay for brunch before you thumb me? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's wild. Long story short, but you know we're you gotta, here tonight and I'm we're staying over in a really nice hotel and that bed is real. That bed gets real lonely with just me in it. So um, yeah. I don't have any STIs that I know of and I'm really I'm I'm. You know, I almost just said where we're staying. We can't do that. No. Well, I wouldn't mind. They'll show up, bitch. That's okay. They'll show up. Um, no, it's not okay. Two nights ago on the tour bus, somebody left a Polaroid of their penis on our bus. I would like to see it. It was nice. <laughs> it was nice. It's in my bunk now. <laughs> But you know, I don't know if pe people are fans of the show. I don't, I'm really easy. I have a type, and it's like a very I, I, broad strokes. I don't. I'm not very picky. But you can't say you can't pick them up where you pick them up. What are you and also, about? you need the hygiene thing. You can't smell like a fucking bouillon cube, bitch. You need to like, Mama. I don't care what they smell like. I don't care if their face is caked with shit. No, you. I bring them. Oh, you, you. I don't smell bad. Well, <laughs> let's see what the audience thinks. <laughs> That's why God invented Do you showers. see those two empty seats right there? You notice they're right in front of you? Those people <laughs> left. <laughs> How many of you would have sex with this person? Like okay. I said, we don't have to go full penetrative Congress. I'm totally, second base is, is fine for me. I like to preserve my, you know what? Well, it's too bad I'm not interested in young, beautiful women because most of the people who want to fuck us are young, beautiful women. I know. It's, it's a I, horrible situation. I know. It's if water I everywhere, God, but not a cock to suck. I know. It's just tough. If God were real, I would be praying every morning to just turn me bisexual because I would, the way I would pound that gash. Well, oh my God, girl. Girl, with Girl. my good little six inch boner, I would just go in and out and in and out, then suck yeah. on the pussy lips and then fondle the titties and then, are you, are you having a good time, ma'am? Are you having a good time? <laughs> Is there anything I can do to make this experience more pleasurable? Please write it down and then I will take that note and I will try better next time. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was a woman at the mean greet that said, Trixie, I just have to tell you, I always want to have sex with you in my dreams. And I say, some people would shut it down. I was interested. I said, in the dreams, I said, do I have a penis or do I have a vagina? Yeah. I wanted to know. And she said, sometimes one, both. sometimes the other, sometimes yeah. both. Sometimes both. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a vagina, let me tell you, I wouldn't be here right now. No. Okay, I'd be This stool would be, miles. would be mysteriously absent. Girl. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. you don't use it, you know. Um, can I? Can we play Connie Chung in um, Geraldo? I don't know if people don't know what that is. Um, can I interview you for a moment? Absolutely, okay. you may. Okay. I'm, I'm just curious to know what has been your most um, cherished memory so far on the tour? What's been the high point for you? The high point for me will be in three days when the first leg is over. <laughs> oh, no. not to interrupt you, but I will. Um, so the, the and way that was my interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, the way that I'm, you don't know, you, we talk about wanting to have sex, it's not really that. The way that, the things I'm gonna do to my bed when I get home, the things, the atrocities that I will wreak upon the fabric that is, the, that bed will wish it was never born. You know what it's gonna be? A medium is gonna come to your house and go over your bed and be like, something happened here. <laughs> Something, <laughs> something, I don't know. Well, I leave this tour and I go straight to the UK to start my other tour. So this whore gets two months off. She's going to sit home and flick one her bean. One month, one month. Thank you very much. Well, some one of us month. are out here trying to feed our kids. <laughs> it's not my fault you have I got kids, fake bitch. plants that need fake water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, seriously, what's your favorite moment? Well, I had a difficult moment, an accidental moment, because on the tour, somebody feeds us. It's so lovely. Somebody selects the food. Our job is to walk into a room and eat the food. Queen of tact. It's great. Queen of But tact. I never know who's doing what. I got stuff going on. So it's like the first few days in a tour. I walk, I say, I can smell the catering room. I'm going to go in there and get food. And it smells like it's going to be Indian food. And I had falafel so many days in a row. Falafel was, is not Indian, but okay, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Falafel. Mediterranean. Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Mediterranean. So then, that's not the story. The story, I'm from rural Wisconsin, okay. I go to get the falafel and I'm like, oh God. And then I walk in, I realize it's not falafel. And I'm so happy, because I like falafel, but not so many days in a sure. row. And I turn to this woman who works on the tour and I say, Lindsay, I'm so happy it's not falafel because I was going to put a gun to my head. She's the what fucking I didn't head know is of that catering. She does the food on the tour. <laughs> 
And she goes, well, you know, you can request a lot of different options. And I was like, oh, okay. I will. Thank you so much for making that available to me. Goodbye. Will you... <laughs> Right thing, right time, right place. I always know just what to say to the right person. Will you tell them about the, um, the bare minerals thing? The what? The, the bare, bare, bare minerals. Oh, the bare minerals person? Yes, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Bro, yeah, Brandon's over there yelling. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. <laughs> okay, one time I went to Thanksgiving. So I went to, th I went to Thanksgiving once. Okay. It wasn't for me. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm Native American, but we still do Thanksgiving. It's very confusing. So we, none of us know why we're there, but we're hungry. Okay. <laughs> And I went to an adult Thanksgiving once and it, I worked at Alta for several years and I was like, Bare Minerals, what a stupid product. Waste of money. Oh my God, it gets everywhere. It's so up, it's stupid. And then everyone at the table was silent and I go, what? <laughs> and then this guy across from me goes, I'm, a, I'm the CEO of Bare Minerals or whatever. And I was like, No, what did you do? Like, what did you do? I started backpedaling, of course. You're like, oh, I was joking. Uh, I said, well, you know, like, that product's great for someone. Or, like, it wouldn't sell so good if everyone... And he was like, it's cool. We make, you know... I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, so I left. I left town and I lived with the... Yeah. <laughs> what's your worst... What's the most challenging moment so far in the tour for you? The sweating. The sweating. The, the sweating. The sweating. Yeah. The sweating. The sweating. Yeah. When I look over, it's the funny, like, there's a... Um, I don't know what you would call it, but there's a very clear, like... Um, uh, if you're, if there is perspiration on your face, uh, we the know what's happening apart. here. Yes. We know what's happening. If here. I'm damp, you are the ghost I'm, ship. I am like, if you are, if there, I see these water droplets on your nose, and then I'm reminded that I look like I just jumped into a pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm looking spooky, that's the lovely bones. Okay. <laughs> But I know that you guys can't tell because theater and lighting, but my nose actually is not this small and thin. It's actually a giant male nose. It's huge. It I have the nose of um, uh, yeah, Jim Halper, but without any of the other good looks. That's yeah. my nose. <laughs> And it's, it's when strange, you start you get sweating, these big droplets, giant on it. droplets on a brown bulb with a white <laughs> crayon down the middle. <laughs> It's very funny. It's very, you know, very it's funny. tough. The sweating. We do Hello, Hello on tour the whole dance from the video. And at the end of it, I'm like, tonight's the night I die. Yeah. She died doing what she loved. Yeah. Sweating. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there's a moment where I like, uh, Kelly hits me and I fall to the ground and I roll and I get up and I, I almost like, it took my breath away when I saw the fucking oil slick. The, it was like a puddle, like someone dropped a bucket yeah. of water on the floor. It was, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, Kelly Mantle's in the tour. She's so good. So good. So good. She's so, so good. We were so lucky to get her. She's, I mean, I don't she's, know if you, if you know her from Drag Race. She had like, you know, one episode, whatever, it was like a fluke. But she's, <laughs> no, but she's so, so talented. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the series The Browns, the Tammy Brown. And she is so so fucking funny in that. Yeah. And so we were really, really, really lucky to have her come on the whole tour with us. And we're so grateful because she's so funny. She's so There's funny. This, and she is always funny. Every time she's on stage, she's funny. You know, she doesn't have like a dull moment. Unlike and, us, which, you know, yeah, yeah, levels. Ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows, yeah. yeah. Um, but she, my favorite is that she comes, she, after intermission, she's been doing this thing where she has like, Parkinson's or something. Yeah, I don't but know she's what like, she's doing. She, I don't know what it is, but she's just so wild and crazy. It's really funny. Yeah. 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 The, what's challenging I is I guess Kelly Parkinson's is not very funny. Sorry about that. Indian food and Parkinson's. <laughs> yeah, that's the takeaway of the evening. <laughs> We're always saying the right thing. Yeah. So Kelly comes out, and what I don't love is that faggots lean over and explain to each other who she is right in front of her while she's... I was like, just wait till the end of the show, okay? <laughs> yeah. Tell people she's Ellen Barkin. Just go with it. I know. It. Um, at, the other, um, at the other night, it, there, was, um, there was a couple of gay guys in the front row who were um, a little judgy, I guess. Um, they were like... Did you see them? They were like this the, the whole time. They're right in the front row. And I couldn't help but notice, like, there, was a couple, there were a couple, and one of them was like this... And the other one was like leaning on him like this. That was our the audience. Whole, that was our audience in Los Angeles the, when we did the test audience. I don't, the <laughs> whole night. The whole night. I mean, they did not crack a smile. And I wanted to be like, just. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and it's I a just, girl yelling at a drag show. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> 
Any other rich content you want to contribute, baby doll? <laughs> Let me know. I can run in these shoes. <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing again? Oh, oh darn. No. <laughs> Can I talk about the heat here? Do the drag queens here just die in the summer? Do they pass away? Yeah, Is every night just your swan song? You're like, what night? What's the number tonight? Because this will be the night I die. Yeah. Do la peep, then dead. You know, just dead. Oh, I know. I picked the wrong profession. Girl, you really I did. Really, we both did. really, really did. It's we so both did. strange. I, and I don't love, I don't love, like, I'm not a masochist. I'm not, I don't, I, I don't love pain at all. I don't love discomfort, you know me. I mean, I don't like, and I don't ever like to feel bad. That's why I got hooked on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, but, and I, this is just like a constant, it's like a, a nonstop parade of humiliation and degradation being in drag. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really well, something. This is the tea, right? You start to get good at drag and just when you figure out what you're doing, your body starts to disintegrate. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's really a sport for the drunk 21-year-olds. Yeah. Once like, you're 40... Yeah, it's like sleeping with the enemy, and you know who the enemy is. It's just, the call's coming yes, from inside the house, Beverly. That. Yeah. I look over, all the cans are, like, you know, organized one way in the cupboard, and it's me who did it, you know? Yeah. It's a deep And part. then you suddenly, you're like, well, what's everyone else been doing? Everyone else your age has been going to night classes, and now they're librarians, and yeah, you're like, Yeah, now well, they're shit. medical billings experts, I'm and over here got a nice smearing... little gig going on, 401k. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm over here gluing things to my toenails, wondering yeah. what happened. Meanwhile, I'm in a wig, um, sweating my ass off, begging strangers to fuck me. I'm at a... <laughs> I'm at the CVS desperately trying to find a pack of nails that's big enough for my Shrek hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know it's bad when you have to buy a pack of toenails just so you can have thumbs. <laughs> uh, or, or, you know, just to make it a little grosser, the other night um, when I had... I, I, I talked a little too vigorously because, girl, you know, girl. Uh, we do this thing where we rip off our skirts and we have, like, French-cut leotards with fucking pussy cleavage. And, I mean... It's almost like the outfits were made to be worn by women. By women, yeah. With full mm. fucking laser, so like, bikinis. Yeah, and for the first... Like, there was, like, a week where my tuck was, like, shifting and it was like, it's not a cute look to kind of, like, you know, go grave digging, like, while on stage. Girl. So <laughs> I, like, really fucking yanked it back. I, like, pulled that taffy within an inch of its life and Girl. Like, fucking shoved it up there. And then halfway through the show, I'm like, oh, 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 Riley's. children are off the table. Girl. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, it's that moment where the penis meets the body, where the veil between realities is the yeah, thinnest. Yeah, the thinnest. It's the wishing hour It's down the there. wishing <laughs> hour. And sometimes I'm on stage and I'm like, funny, funny, funny. Oh, did it come off? <laughs> yeah. I think it came off. When I'm just going to say for a couple of days, I may or may not have had scabs on my dick. I know. Anybody like you've me? never had them. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Scabs on the dick, Scab ladies. The dick, Sounds like a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. On that dick, girl. Square of space, a it's me a Tony, and I have a website, and have a website that I built on the square of space. Do you have a smaller business? I have a smaller business where I sell yarn and crochet needles because I like to, instead of cooking the pasta, I put a bunch of yarn on a plate and I pretend it's the pasta. And I, instead of meatballs, I have balls of yarn that are red. Oh yes, the baby. Squarespace is built to sell anything. Squarespace has the tools you need to get the business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, and a simple checkout to process and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has merchandising features to make your products look the best online. Present videos from your YouTube, Vimeo, Animoto on your Squarespace site. You can add an image overlay to your video to improve your website's load speed by waiting to embed video players until playback starts. On my website for Tony Baloney's Yarn Food. <laughs> I have a video of me making the plate of spaghetti from the ball of yarn. You can connect social media accounts. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. You can even do email campaigns so that your most dedicated customers can be updated when you have something new. 
Create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing products, blog posts, and logo, so your message is consistent and effective. My logo, my logo is the Balayan and the bunch of pizza. Anybody Italian listening, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have a small business, and when I start the business, I say to myself, I say, Tony, how do you connect with the public? So I grab my computer, my personal computer, and I start to create a website on Squarespace. So easy. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bold to save 10% on your first purchase of website or domain. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bold to save 10% on your first purchase of website or domain. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Mm, mucho bella. So we all deserve a little bit of fun. And for some of us, we put it off or we decide that we deserve it when we deserve it. But the truth is you do deserve it. You do deserve some fun. You've already earned some fun, diva. So have it, honey darling. It's like giving yourself permission to eat dessert first, okay? How often do you let yourself have a little joy, okay? You deserve more. Add joy to your daily routine with Best Fiends, the puzzle adventure game you won't be able to put down. Girl, I'm on tour right now. Mobile games such as Best Fiends. I mean, it's just nice to be able to, when I'm backstage or when I'm in the dressing room, I have downtime after meet and greet or during dinner or whatever. I love being able to pick up and play Best Fiends. I'm on level 31. Thank you. And it's great because it's a game that engages me, but I can put it down and move on. You know, it's not a big, deep, serious, take hours of my life game. I can pick it up and put it down whenever I want. Best Fiends is a free-to-download mobile puzzle game with thousands of exciting levels for new adventures and challenges every time you play. And with offline play, you'll never be stranded without fun, even if you lose your internet connection. In the theaters I work in, sometimes there's just not great Wi-Fi, and that's an option for me. You've earned your fun time. Go to the App Store or Google Play to download Best Fiends for free. Plus, you can earn $5 worth in in-game rewards when you reach level 5. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Microdosing. Micro dosing. What is it? I only learned about it um, maybe two years ago now when just like you, I started spending a lot more time at home and I wanted to try to regulate my sleep schedule a little bit when I wasn't exactly leaving the house every day. But I'm traditionally not somebody who has any experience with like THC or CBD or really anything. I mean, I don't even drink coffee. So micro dosing really made products accessible to me. Microdose is available nationwide. Microdose and the concept of microdosing is commonly associated with psychedelics, wellness, performance enhancement, and creativity. I mean, it's great for creative boost, enjoying the moment, pain, anxiety, or for me, it's wonderful for regulating my sleep schedule. It just, I mean, I find that I sometimes am groggy the next day from even like a melatonin, but I'm never groggy from microdose. Did you guys hear my accent jump out? Microdose. Today's episode is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. They really do taste and feel amazing, and I'm telling you, as somebody who was terrified of having a bad experience, having dosages super tiny like this takes the guesswork out of what kind of experience I'm going to have, and it really helps me have a regulated and moderated life instead of an experience that I'm not sure what's going to happen. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, just do a quick search online or go to microdose.com. Use the code BALD to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Links can be found in the show description, but again, that's microdose.com and the code BALD. I love it, y'all. Oh, we have fun. You're going to be 40. I'm going to be fucking 40. We got to shut that down. We got to shut it down. I'm going to buy a linen suit. You know what you should do for drag? Do you remember in Snow White when she's asleep and there's just a glass viewing? Yeah. I need we that get up smoky to a window. glass, though. That, like, you know what I mean? That fogged up frosted glass. glass. Yeah, frosted. Extra frosted. We hook up a window unit right into there, and you're in there like this. No, with and carbon makeup... dioxide coming in. You know, just like a midsummer. <laughs> I got the hose right in my mouth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And your, your eyes are closed, but you're smiling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, I don't know whatever they're doing with Lennon. Um, not John, you know, Vladimir Lennon. And, um... The tomb, you know how they preserved, I don't know if you know this, but... I don't know that. Um, okay, well, they have an incredible team of scientists who are, like, at the forefront of embalming corpses in Russia. Yeah. And, um, Mama, they have him on display, and whatever they are doing, that's what I want. 
That she, bitch is, is she over giving? 100 years is old. Is she giving? She's giving. She's giving. Is she's she fully ate? dead. She ate. She ate. <laughs> <laughs> she let the girls know at the gig. She, she's doing what the girls should have did. She, yeah, she's fiercely dead and has been forever. But she is, um, <laughs> but she's on display. She's on display in, in the tomb. And How she, dead is she? Oh, she's mama, fiercely, she's fiercely dead. dead. <laughs> that bitch is fucking dead. Yeah, but she is looking so fierce. And I, I kind of want what she's having. It's very I'll have what she's having. Yeah. yeah. Sucking on dead juice. Anybody you know mung diving? We don't. No. Okay. Just to pivot from mung diving, um, <laughs> we don't always have an audience for a podcast. We never we, do. We thought it would be. Yeah, we never do. No, we, we never, never do. do. We never do. But I thought sometimes an Uber, like a Postmates person, comes. Yeah, that's true. That's a something. drifter wanders in from off yeah. the street, or like a sound tech who hates us, listening to us make jokes. Like, yeah, yeah, like. Well, I thought we could open up the, to possibly some questions. I don't know. Yeah. Make it interactive. Yeah, some yeah. of you are going to go home this week, and yeah. you're going to want to listen to Bald and Beautiful, but you're going to have heard it here, and you're going to be like, shit. Yeah. I already heard it. Yeah. So let's get your two cents in. If anybody has a question, we'd be delighted to answer it. And please, nothing weird. Nothing weird. Don't read, like, weird poetry or something. What's your question? Yeah. Well, I'll be the judge of that. No. 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 We no. have not. No. no. Did you see the women get hushed? They're like, <gasps> I have told this story before and I will tell it again. Um, there was one night where we were, um, I think it was me, you, and Courtney. Yeah, me, Courtney Act was also there. If you're really into lesbian shit, yeah, it was yeah, all yeah. three of us. <laughs> yeah. I, we, we, was, we were all hanging out in my apartment in Boston and then we were all going to bed and then me and you were in my bed for some reason and then I was like trying to do kissy stuff on you and then I distinctly remember you saying and be like, I was like, you're like, ugh, no, maybe if you were younger. That's not what I said. That is not true. That is absolutely That could not have true. happened. That happened, bitch. It fucking happened. Oh, boop, 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 I was like, you know what, maybe if we were 14, 15, we could have worked this out. <laughs> No, I don't believe that happened, but I did. It did happen. Well, you, there I was remember one it, summer. It scarred me. There was the one summer where I got, I got really ripped and really tan. That never happened. Yes, it did. <laughs> remember Mama you- Mama ripped? Mary, that was the night you said, you know I can't let you go to sleep without making out with oh, you. Oh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. See? And then you said, yeah, maybe I would if you were right. 10 years <laughs> younger. <laughs> Do you like how we went from this never happened to a detailed synopsis of the night we made out? Well, you know what? So but what is the truth, Ellen? Well, it's better. You know, that's, <laughs> ask your producers. Ask everyone. Yeah. You know what? The moral of the story is it almost happened. And it that's almost- something to finger yourself to. <laughs> yeah. That's better than it yeah. happening. It's the wanting. Yeah, it's the don't pursuit. cry because it didn't happen. Smile because it could have. Yeah. Go yeah. home. Hook that Hitachi up to a generator and fuck <laughs> off, bitch. Blow the power. Blow the circuit from the whole Girl, block. Girl, take the power out on the block, okay? <laughs> Any other um, questions? That was a great question. Oh, what's, what's your question? Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Okay. <laughs> when is the Trixie and Katya movie coming out? <sighs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Would you watch that shit? You would? Well, I've been trying to get, um, I've been trying to get soap fish uh, produced. Have you, has anybody ever seen the movie that's from 1992, I believe, called Soap Dish? It's, it's an ensemble, it's, it's a, um, a comedy that is an ensemble comedy with Sally Field, Kevin Klein, Kathy Moriarty, Whoopi Goldberg, Robert Downey Jr., Carrie Fisher, Elizabeth Shue. It's so good, Gary Marshall. And it's, um, it takes place on the set of a soap opera where it turns out behind the scenes is a lot more soapy than on air. And I think it would, it, it has a very, it has an extremely dated transphobic ending. However, um, it, it is ripe for a, um, a refresh on a reality show. And I think if you made it soap fish and you cast like Shangela's would be Goldberg and like um, Jinx as uh, Sally Field mm-hmm. and uh, me as Elizabeth Shue, although I'm probably too oh, old girl, for that. Shangela's already cast. She's already cast it. She's like, I'm in the movie. I'm yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would, it would literally write itself. And it's, it's such a bummer. I can't, we, nobody wants to do it. I know. Well, we haven't asked anyone. That's true. <laughs> That's our main problem. We don't have a lot of follow through. Great ideas. Not even great ideas. Not even great ideas. Just not great ideas. A germ no of a follow seed through. of an idea. Yeah. A recipe for success. Yeah. Do you want to pick one? Oh yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, um, right. Don't over yell there. at us. Yes. Uh, no. 
In the tube top, I think you're wearing a strapless top. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, there's another strapless top. Sorry. Yes. Right Everybody's there. so slutty. How many yeah. people are in tube tops? Jesus I love Christ. Your, by the way, I love your outfit. You're so fierce. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, what is the best way to go through tour without dying? <gasps> oh, oh well, that's a really... Okay, oh, the, you know what? To be perfectly honest... Okay, so this is not very funny, um, but it's helpful. Or, um, the, the thing about tour... This is not, like, very unrelatable, but it's, I'll keep it brief. The, when you're on tour, it's, it's very exciting. It's very wonderful. When you're on stage, I mean, it's the most magical thing in the world. It's the it's, most magical it's, thing in the world. It's what I think drugs feel like. It is better than drugs. Better because than you drugs. don't have to, like, you know... Uh, um, but <laughs> there's no puking. There's no shitting the bed. You don't have to no, go to the like, public yeah. park. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to get raw dog by 14 men in yeah. the... In the yeah. um, but it's... Um, but the thing about it is, like, you can be in limbo, like, where you... Personally, you, you can kind of, don't you agree? I mean, maybe you don't, but the, you don't really grow as a person. Like, so you have to, <laughs> shut up, shut up. I've said well, nothing. I don't answer emails. I've said so, nothing. But I, I've said nothing. Okay, so the, the thing is, you have to have, what is really important to do on tour is like, learn a language. Um, oh. a, you know what I mean? Like, <gasps> yes, like yes, okay. A craft. You have to acquire a new skill. It is absolutely imperative that you are embroiled in, a, in an, an activity that has a cumulative effect where you're yes. learning a skill. It's so important. Yes. It's so, so, so important. She's learning languages. I'm playing Pokemon Go. Which is, it's great. <laughs> it's great. And I'm doing another marathon. So that's yeah. like, because in the Orange is the New Black, there's this part where that girl who does yoga goes, think of your time here as a mandala. <laughs> That's what because we spend the whole in order for us to give the bus show, we don't hang out during the day. No. So we don't see this person no. until meet and greet. No. And then yeah. during the day, we just don't speak. We don't. No. We have yeah. separate tour buses. I don't even yeah. know if she's dead or alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but that's what keeps it exciting. I mean, honestly, we're at the point now where we thrive on crisis. We need something. Yeah, we need some kind of like we have to throw a big wrench into the wheels to like make it exciting. And, and the producers are shaking their heads. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's really in that, in that um, also like brushing your teeth and stuff. <laughs> Tell them what you said backstage today. No. <laughs> <laughs> My dental routine has been thrown. Is, is thr I mean, listen, I'm a medical mystery with these teeth. I've never had a cavity. I'm almost 40. I've smoked tons of meth in my life and I've never... I've just, it's crazy, but I, my, so my, my, my rigorous and diligent dental hygienic routine has been thrown a little bit of a curveball and it's really gross. It feels like I have moss in my mouth right now. Today we were, today we were getting IVs, those like hydration IV things, and Bullshit, they went to Katya's room first. Bullshit. And after Katya's room, they came to my room to give me my IV. And you know, I'm in bed, you know, fully bald on a Zoom with the needle in the arm, like just a normal day. <laughs> And then I go, so what's the worst thing that could happen from these? And the lady goes, well, some people could have adverse reactions. She said, but your friend was okay. I was like, yeah, Katya, yeah, she'll live forever. She's going to be fine. I am literally, I'm like the cockroach girl. girl exactly I am the like the cockroach. I'm ready. It's the, it's the irony, of course, is that I'm ready to go. And then God won't take me. <laughs> We're in rehearsals for the show. I'm desperately trying to lose weight. This person has dominoes every day and is having her costumes taken in. I know. It's, well, listen, I don't know. Shit. Nobody will fuck me. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Anybody Thank else you have for a your question? question? Any other question? Ooh, everyone's getting bold now. Um, right here in the front. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what is your favorite thing about Italy? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Yeah. <laughs> My long legs. <laughs> um, I take a lot of things in drag very seriously, and I think everything is about making money, and this person reminds me that oftentimes it's about doing only what you want when you want to do it. <laughs> Listen, it's... Uh, this is gonna... <laughs> This is gonna sound really, really obnoxious, um, but I, she was she grew up extremely poor. I grew up um, I would Rich. solid no 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 Rich. lower middle class. I never had a car. I never had a computer. I, we never had caller ID. You it had was, socks and shoes. You were rich. Well, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we never had extra money. We never went on vacation. We never had anything. I never had more than $100 in my bank account until I was fucking 30 years old. So 
the thing that is, I, I feel very strongly that you will never know the truth of this until you make what I feel to be a lot of money, which is $10,000. When you make $10,000, you discover that money can't make you happy. And it's horrible. Because it seems to me, every fiber of my being was like, fuck off. If I had $20,000, I would be ecstatic. But it's true. And of course, that number is shifts for inflation and everything. Um, but like, you know, don't you, I mean, do you agree? That's like in COVID, during COVID in LA, when people are like, we had to sell the house in Malibu. Yeah, we had to get rid of the horses. Yeah. <laughs> the horses caught fire. Yeah. And so you're saying I inspire you because money makes me happy. No, you don't inspire me at all. <laughs> no, I'm just saying is that money, girl, money, fuck money. It's whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't make you happy. It is essential, especially if you have children, all that stuff. But like, you know, if you're just a single gay person like me, I don't need, I just need $35. Just Does anybody $35? have $35? <laughs> That's all she I'm like needs. in cash right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It does. I mean, do you, do you think money, does money make you happy? No. Does money make you happy? But I think it's like really crazy and privileged when people, not that you're this, not that you're this. No. Uh, but, but it makes everything easier. Of course it does, but it doesn't make it happier. It makes it easy, but easy's not happy. Mm. Easy's not happy. Poetry snaps. It's yes. not. Easy is easy. Happy's happy. I was that I was the happiest of my life when I when I was in debt. Not to say that that's great. No, I was in debt to a person, not to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or whatever, Sally Mae or whatever. But like, you know, when I had no money, but I, I was the happy I was floating. Mama, I was floating two inches above the ground. Uh. <laughs> but what about, let's say this, let me paint you a picture. It's your one day off a week because you work two jobs and you're in beauty school, yeah. right? And yeah. your kid's crying. Yeah. And you're like, it's my one day off, and I gotta fucking do the dishes and the laundry, and yeah. I gotta run errands today. Mary, oh that's my God, I'm rich. I'm gonna have someone else do it. Now I'm happy. I have a day off. That's, yes, for happy. one day. For one day. Talk to me in a year. I don't know. I know it's, but my point is it does sound obnoxious and entitled and it sounds really like out of touch, but it's, it's something I was like, oh, oh, But let's oh. say you're me and you're playing Pokemon Go and you've caught a lot of Pokemon and you've caught so many that you need to buy extra storage and it's $4.99 and you have it and you bought it and you're so happy because you're catching Pokemon in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'll say this. It's the, it's the little things. On my days off on tour, my hobby is to go to Dave & Buster's. In every city, I get in the car in an Uber, I go to the Dave & Buster's, and I just save tickets. And the other day, after spending hundreds of dollars at the Dave & Buster's, yeah. I won a tiny, cheap gold necklace that said winner, and it made me so happy. I... <laughs> And then last night at the bar, I got really drunk and I met someone who had a necklace that said bitch. And he said, I don't really know you, but I think we should trade. And I did. And now I have a necklace that says bitch. <laughs> it's about making connections in the community. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, so my favorite thing about you um, is um, um, I don't think you really get offended at anything. No, no. No. And that's really like uh, that's that's really wonderful, especially in a collaborator, um, because I mean, girl, who fucking cares? Girl, who cares? Who fucking Tell cares? Tell me the tea. Tell it to my face. Girl, Let's move time on. isn't real and nothing matters. But, you know, whatever. Absolutely. Anybody yeah. else got a question? Is it yeah. done? Are, are we? No, no, no. no. We have a little okay, more. Good. We have a little more. Uh, I, you know, let's try to pick somebody in the back. Okay, the person way in the back in the corner, the the back seats, the poor. <laughs> no, they're not poor. Yes. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Scream, please. I just want to know, is it worth it to go to college? No, it's not. It's not. Listen, it's, I'm going to take the reins on this one, if you don't mind. I just spoke at my alma mater. Yeah, she just spoke at her college. I just, I did, I, I went to, like, the, the horn department at Boston University invited me to speak. Um, the French horn. The French horn. No, I it was not the French horn instrument. department. <laughs> yeah. So I went there and I and I probably waxed poetic about how much of a scam college is for about 25 minutes and everybody was looking at me cross-eyed. But um, it's just insane and it's it's just so fucking crazy that that you will go to your grave with student loan debt that you cannot default on that with bankruptcy or anything. And I just think it's it, it is so fucking nuts in this country and people fly all the way. People come to this country from all over the world to get educated 
and that you can graduate with a liberal arts degree with over $200,000 in student fucking loans. That is insanity. Yeah. It's crazy. And if you're in the liberal arts, you are absolutely expected to go get a, a, a graduate degree and then you can accrue another two, $300,000 in loans. It's wild, it's unfair, it's rotten, it's wretched, and I hate yeah. this country for I, that. Yes, yes, oh yes. Wendy Williams, oh yes. Girl, please. Oh yes. I, what, recently, 18th century French literature? I recently slept with one nurse and three doctors, separate occasions, and the first thing I talked about was the loans. And I'm like, how much you got? Tell me the tea. And my jaw hits the floor. I mean, and if you're not if you're not going for medicine, engineering, or um, or or a law, like good, good luck. That Girl, being good said, good luck paying those loans back. That being said, we both have like theater inter arts degrees, and we use them every day. So there are there are exceptions to the rule, right? Do you think I needed to go to college to do what I do now, bitch? Oh yeah, I surely <laughs> fucking did not. I would say when you come to our show, you're like, these are educated people. Yeah. Everything that all of the skills that are at play here were were acquired after the call on the degree. streets. Yes, I mean seriously. Yeah, I received more education from fucking men for money for a year than I did in four years of fucking art school. Yeah, I really did. How to be your you own boss? You think they teach how to you make think they your teach own hair? How, how to legs? do your own hair? You know how to get a, um, how to get a drunk surly man out of your apartment at one a.m. without any violence. Like, there's a lot of interpersonal <laughs> skills that I acquired on the job. You know. Being my own, being your own boss, being my own boss, making your own making hours, making hours, <laughs> vacation time. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard. Anyway, so I think call. I mean, you know, obviously it's not a blanket statement, but I just really feel like it's just so crazy. Like you know, it's like um, you go to I don't know Europe, even fucking Russia. Like the you, it's free. It's free, Mary. It's free. It's free. It Let's should all be move free. away. Move to where it's free. Canada. We're going to Sweden. Australia. Yeah, Sweden. We're going to Sweden. And don't Everybody get me started about come to paid college. maternity leave. <laughs> Paid maternity leave in this country is a fucking joke. Yeah. Paid maternity leave. You have a baby? Fuck That's you. That's the only thing keeping me from getting pregnant. <laughs> the only thing. This close. Ugh. Anyways. Anybody else got a question? Anybody in the, the... Hi. Oh, my God. I can't even see. What about the hand right there? Second row. Second balcony. Second row. Woman with hair. Woman with hair. Oh, up in the balcony. Oh, hi, guys. Balcony. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to stand up. It's the rule. Oh, wait. Two people are standing up now. Oh, we'll Hold get on. them both. We'll get them both. Okay, yeah. In the back first, and then we'll do you in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in the pink, we'll do you in a second. Go ahead. Okay. Forget each other. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Oh, my God. Oh, that's really what? nice. That's a really nice that's thing That's a say. nice question. With my floundering self-esteem, that's a really good thing to I'm going to need to right phone now. a friend again. <laughs> You go first. Well, I would say that my almost sociopathic um, selfishness okay. translates. The flip side of that coin is I will complete anything that I want to do because I will not, not, like, let myself flop. Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Even if no what? one cares. I want a necklace at Dave & Buster's, bitch. And I will, I will, I will <laughs> gas you up for a second because I have been a, um, I've had a front row seat to this phenomenon for the past, what, five, six, seven years. And I remember, um, remember when I was screaming at you in the moonlight in P-Town? Remember? Yes, I remember you were saying that you loved music because it's all about numbers. <laughs> Numbers. Bleary -eyed, numbers. In, uh, bleary eyed shirtless in the moonlight and um but i remember I, I i i recall from the time that we started to become friends over the phone after drag race that you are very methodical and strategic in that you you say okay there's this goal that i'd like to accomplish and then you start a b c x y z and you do it until it's done and it's very very admirable well especially for us i'm always like we're queer small businesses i want us yeah. to have everything sure i fight for us i provide for us you do you i do. love us <laughs> <laughs> i mean and to be honest like especially nowadays when i don't really ever want to work anymore like the um you nowadays you never want to work anymore <laughs> no i ha i went through an ambition era you didn't know me <laughs> Um, but, you know, the, if, if it weren't for you, I'd probably just be, you know, plucking chicken feathers in, in a weird spot in the woods or something. Yeah. yeah. The way we work, we really know each other. So I'll be like, I'll do it. But you know who you have to ask? Ask her and see if she'll do it. And, and then the she'll call me and go, no. do you really want to do this? Because I don't want to do it. <laughs> but if it's something you really want to do, I'll do it. And I'll be like, I want to do it. And she's like, all right, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you like about yourself? Um... Well, 
I, 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 well, unfortunately, on this tour, I become a, I become a cunt. You think? I, yeah, I might, I might. You so, think that started on this tour? Shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, I uh, my, my, uh, this Joan of Arc, my lovely assistant, um, this poor, poor, lovely woman has witnessed this complete shift in personality. She, she worked for someone different before this tour, and then the wheels on that bus started moving, and I just fucking turned into Mr. Hyde. It was like a juggled Mr. Hyde situation. <laughs> However, um, I would say that um, I, I like that I uh, don't, um, if, if I don't laugh, I'll die, so I have to laugh every day, and then, I, and then you know what I mean? Like, yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. I would ha, say ha, at the worst levity, times, levity. You, you and I have been through some ups and downs, <laughs> and they have, they have yielded some of the funniest things yeah. to yeah. laugh about. I mean, I would just say my teeth. That's my favorite part. Your teeth. Yeah. We can't say our hair. No. You know? No. We, I don't know what we look I like. I don't try. It's not good. Yeah. No, it's, it's not It hasn't good. been good for a long time. It's not good. Houston, we have a goblin. Girl. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Girl. 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 I look like something that would get scraped off my dick. <laughs> Did you have you a question? <laughs> yeah, up there. there. Was, um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Totally. Ooh, you're really projecting. Great voice. Okay, don't yell. My question is for us. When you guys are doing your opening lines, do you guys ever write that? Never. You guys are so... People always ask that. I, know. I don't think we're that smart. They're not that good to be... Yeah, no, no. We've been phoning it in for years. I don't know yeah. if you noticed, at this point, we're just saying lines from movies. <laughs> They're not That's, even... I've been doing that for the last six years. <laughs> just not even clue. good anymore. Just going down the lines of clue every day, yeah. <laughs> No, we, I, I think that's like the fun part of that thing is, um, especially that show in particular, we just show up and, and, and let it rip. Also, of course, it has so much to do with the, the talent and diligence of the editors. Um, who, yeah, like, we show up, they we take turds and turn about. it into trophies. I mean, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You guys are always like, I wish I could see it unedited. I'm like, no, no you, you don't. don't. No, you no, don't. No, you don't. Because some days, I'll, I mean, when we are not feeling it, oh my God, there has been some fucking, I mean, there's been some times where I would get out of that chair and I'm like, what the fuck are they gonna do with this? Yeah. What are yeah. they gonna do with this? But then it turns out great because they're they so They deep talented. fry it, they French braid it. It turns yeah. out okay. Yeah. They put yeah. some googly eyes on it, and yeah, that's great. It's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I, wait. I, go. I yeah, wanted go. to say something earnest. Go for it. Um, so back in the shower, I was really, I was, I was, I was really, I, I, I got caught in, in, like, in the middle of three things. Like a uh, hygiene and like in sensuality and then also the gratitude, and um, and uh, I just want I want to say like, I it, you all make me so happy and it's really oh. really 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 wonderful because I like actually feel like if I got real earnest I could cry but I'm not gonna do that. Um, but the do it's it, it's uh, no the um, it, you have no idea like. It, when I, like, stop and think about it, like, I have the most incredible ability to make myself miserable no matter what the situation is. I will take any... You paint me the most beautiful picture of a life, like, an extraordinary life, and I will tell you 15 things wrong with it. Hey, I've but, like, seen her do it. Yeah. I've but, seen her do it for but, years. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but when I, 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 like, stop... Like, this tour especially has, like... Oh, my God. The, we are... I just feel so, so lucky and so grateful that, like... Everybody, you all are like wonderful people, and we do not have shitty fans. And I just feel so grateful. I'm just yeah. so happy. So thank you guys for being so great. Like, yeah, it's just so it's so delightful. Yeah, and this is the bald and the beautiful. But like, seems everything we do, you guys always travel with us, and everybody. Yeah. It's like cumulative knowledge too. Like people remember jokes from like seven years ago, and they get them tattooed on their face. Yeah, it, it's just really, really wonderful. And um, and I feel like now. Tell them about the butt tattoo from the other day. Oh my God. So. We see a lot of tattoos. I would say we see a few tattoos a day. We on see, tour. yeah, a few a we day. See at the meeting, great people will, huge panels on the, this um, incredible woman came to the show, I think it was yesterday. Anybody got them here? Huge tattoos no on one. the thighs. No one, great. Not real like fans. Matching okay. tattoos. Yeah, yeah. Fake fans, fake fans. <laughs> um, and then this boy, I could not, I checked his age. He was 22 or 21. And, um, he, he, he pulled down his pants and showed me his bare ass. And I'm telling you, it was a, a, the size of a grapefruit or larger. It said, fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. And I got, I was like, 
I was like, what do I think of this? I feel like a pedophile for looking at it. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and I was like, and then I got all wrapped up in like, oh my God, people are fucking him and then they're looking at that. What are they thinking? Does it, is it a boner killer? Is it a boner enhancer? So that's weird. It's like, you know, there's a lot of things going on there. Yes, I would have fucked him, but he didn't ask and it's okay. But you know, it's like, yeah. It's I crazy. Used to, it's crazy. I used to think it was like I would never want to fuck somebody who watches our show. But then the more people watched it, the number of people who haven't seen our show dwindled. And now it is what it is. <laughs> in fact, if they've seen me on the green screen in a wig talking about like my asshole and they still want to fuck me, it's love. It's a that's love. That's love. That's a connection. That's true love. Yeah, Celine yeah, Dion yeah. sings about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, let's do one, maybe one more question if you don't mind. Yeah, what about yeah, yeah. that? Uh, I'll let you pick it. You're so right clairvoyant. Here, yeah, the, uh-huh. Oh, I got it like two weeks before this. Oh, man. Oh, but see, that's, but that's so cool. And Dignified. that's cool regardless of us. Like, if it turns it out in the papers that we're both, you know, pedophiles, yeah. it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. You wouldn't have to get it's it removed It's different right than away. when someone has, I love your axe wound, you fucking whore, with like my <laughs> face on it. You'll get that one next. I'm going to get you. Yeah. My dream is for someone to come up with a tattoo of us and for me to go, that's so funny. I got you right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and maybe it's a fake tattoo and they just faint. Yeah. They're just like, yeah. What's your question? My question is, do y'all have any famous or funny road stories? Road stories. We were just in a venue the other day and I said, I think this is a venue where I saw you sucking that guy's cock. Yeah. And it was. It was. It was. Um, it was. was. We were in this dressing room, and I was like, something, something. about this dressing room seems a little familiar. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was giving a blowjob in drag. to in drag, and which I miss that so much. <laughs> and the thing about it is, I just can't do it anymore because they can't afford me now. I know. <laughs> And I mean, you know, as much as I like, you know, give lip service to all this socialist bullshit, I am still in my heart kind of a capitalist. Because, you know, I just won't, I won't, you know. Anyways, so I was like, I get really, um, you know, I get... Um, you I mourn, you, you, you mourn, mourn the past. I mourn the past. Because Simpler was, times. I'm telling you, you have no idea what's like. When you're, you, you know, this is, this is like the, the curse of being kind of like middle of the road. I mean, if you're real ugly, I feel like you make peace with that. But like, if you're, yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes. If you're real, yes, if you are quasi yes, fucking girl, motor yes. mama, you know. If you're a turtle, you know that. if you're a fucking turtle, you are a turtle you know and you it. love it. You know you it. Make you make it work. You don't pine for what could be because girl, that's in another lifetime, you know? But when you're in the middle of the road, you're always kind of like, oh, maybe the, the, like some semblance of beauty is kind of, oh, in my reach. And then you, oh, you know, before you know it, you're just yeah. falling yes. face flat on the floor. Um, but when you're handed this particularly strange opportunity, that being being able to look like this, and then gentlemen come out of the woodwork, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about Tom Hardy and Brad Pitt. I'm, I'm Brad literally, G-P-G. Brad G. P. G. Literally, in Boston, I'm, t- I'm not, I'm not, just factual information. I have, I, Mary, I have fucked the creme de la creme of townies, and, and for, and not even, you know, and some even paid for it. And, and it Did was you say just carnies? Townies. Carnies. Carnies. Yeah. yeah. Carnival. Carney Carnival Wilson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fuck Carney Wilson. But it's, <laughs> it's so, I don't know what the point of this story, I don't even know why I started talking no, about it. No, here's the thing. No. Here's the thing. We're not disgusting, right? No, but we're, we're not, not hot. We're not. But we masquerade as hot people for a living. Yeah. So you get to feel hot person privilege. You get to get too yes. close to the sun like Icarus yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. melt away. And then, when, and then when you do, when it's time to melt it all off, you're like, in Girl. the mirror, and it doesn't matter what. You could be in the best shape of your life, tan, gorgeous, lovely veneers, everything. If you take off the drag, it's ghouls and Mary, goblins. Mary, it is ghouls Mary. and goblins. There is nothing Dungeons you can do. Dungeons and dragons. Dungeons and dragons. There are so many times where you were like, so I will like, you know, be tipping, tipping, tipping after the gig, and I'll meet a guy who's like, hey, I actually love you. I had a drag too, and I'm like, cha-ching. And then I go back to the hotel, I take it off, and I'm like, no one would fuck this. No one would. Because no matter what it is, it's the, sh- it's the sheen, the after, it's not the afterglow, it's like an after sludge of drag. It's bad. It's just so bad. You got half an eyebrow, you look, you have raccoon eyes, you look like a strung out tweaker. It's just yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. How do you think I feel? Anyways. <laughs> hey, hey, keeping it positive is important to love yourselves. You know what else I like? We talk, we, we talk about how much we, uh, 
dislike ourselves sometimes, and then people will come up to us and be like, thank you for being open about how much you hate yourself. And I'll be like, <laughs> you know what? How much also, do I project that? Yeah, well, but also, somebody was talking about this on, um, on uh, one of my friends was talking about this recently. It was like, Less, body neutrality. Body neutrality. Like, you, you don't have to you fuck do you. Not have you to, don't have to you fuck you. You do not have to love your body. Mama, you don't have to hate it. But bitch, I don't want to feel it. So, I mean, uh, uh, I don't want to love my I mean, uh, 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 uh. In the right lighting, in the right in scenario, the right lighting, if you've yeah. been drinking and I'm surrounded by horribly yeah. ugly people, yeah. and there's one I'm candle, gorgeous. there's one candle yeah. at the other a end tea of light the room <laughs> that's been yeah. burning for three days, three days and three nights. If it's yeah. the first day of Hanukkah, yeah. and that fucking yeah. thing is across the room, yeah. in the fog from San Francisco, in the Bay Area, is rolling through the windows, <laughs> six foot high. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, anyways, um, you know, the balls. <laughs> we started this podcast, I think, as um, we we're trying to talk about beauty. We were trying to talk about. Has anybody been listening from the beginning? Okay. You remember we tried to talk about beauty, but then we kept having ugly people, and then I don't know. <laughs> it just all fell apart. But, you know, yeah. we've had some. There was some really. I miss having guests, but then. It, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like having to do research. I just like talking with the gals. One of my favorite moments of the pod was when we had Violet, and we uh -huh. asked her why she started doing drag, and she said, well, I went to the gay bars in Atlanta, and I felt like no one was giving, but they needed to be giving, so I had to go give it. <laughs> yeah. That's psychotic. Yeah. Psychotic. But, you know, I mean, she does give it, and it's, um, it's, it's really great. It's, um, it's very, she's very inspiring to me. She is. I would never extend, expend the amount of energy she does in any given arena in my life, but, I would, you know, it's very nice to see someone Speaking doing it. Speaking of, I know we have to wrap up, but they mm. announced the all winner season today. Can you yes. believe it? <laughs> oh. And I, um, you know, for the first time in quite some years, I was um, very, very interested, and I learned some very sickening tea. Of course, I'm not going to share it right now, but I just want to say that because that's so frustrating to hear. Um, it's going to be good. It's, it's crazy. It's yeah. going to be good. It's going to be good. But, so, but wait, there was one... Um, 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 Eden showed me this funny, funny tweet. Um, so Bianca Del Rio um, tweeted... Um, I was busy with the nail paint emoji and shakerly was like, no, you weren't. <laughs> well, I it's fucking one thing, love that. It's one thing to not compete. It's another thing to insinuate that you're not competing because everyone else too needs good. the gig and yeah, you yeah. don't. Yeah, you're too good. Mary, you were fucking making a turban in Palm Springs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> A beautiful turban. A beautiful, a gorgeous, flawless turban. Lovely, flawlessly constructed turban, darling. Oh, well, Anyways. It looks like we're about to close up the evening, you guys. I yeah, know. I know. They told us we only have an hour, and then they said we have to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I don't make the rules. But, but so, anyways, just go, uh, going back to the beginning, because, you know, every good story starts at the end and, and finishes at the beginning. Um, I mean... I, I'll keep the wig on. You look like one of those bodies they prop up at a wake. <laughs> Do you know like when a rapper dies and they put sunglasses on them and they're just like... <laughs> uh, also, yeah, there's, um, we've given you a lot of different ways to support us over the years and you have always made the choice to do so. And so let me support you. We're going to give everyone in the audience tonight some of Katya's money. Yes. And I'm so yes. excited about it. If you line up, I'll give everybody $8. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm willing, you know, we, we talk, 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 but the proof is in the pudding. If you would like to see in real life just how sweaty I can get, um, you know, I'm staying at the, um, the, the Comfort Inn and Suites. Um, That's right not the, the hotel. Street. That's not the hotel. But, um, Don't go terrorize people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, anyways. Um, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about the other night when somebody jumped a fence and tried to get on the tour bus? A fan, do you not know about this? You're not supposed no. to talk about this. Earplugs over there produces earplugs. Somebody jumped a fence and walked up to your tour bus and tried to just get on it. Well. And it wasn't Tom Hardy, bitch. I don't see the problem with that. That, that shows initiative. <laughs> and then I asked some of the other fans, I said, did somebody really try to jump on the bus? And they said, yeah, they took off running. So don't jump on our bus, no, please. Don't jump on our bus. It's our home, it's a trailer, let us live. Yeah. yeah. Um, Think but, of um, us as your grandparents in Boca Raton, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
brittle bones dead at any moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for listening. And um, thank you for listening to the pod and everything. And um, you're just really wonderful. And we love you so much. Yeah, we love you all. That's it. Thank you guys so much for coming. Please fuck me.